Hey YouTube, so I am so sorry about the delay in getting back to you. It was kind of a rough week, honestly. Uh, it took me a while to find my camera. I'm on my phone right now. It's just been a mess, but I have not forgotten about you, okay? So today's video is actually gonna be about uh, the benefits of locks. And I have five benefits that I wanna talk about for, um, for you today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first benefit of locks that I found has been just the maintenance. In my opinion, having had permed hair, loose natural hair, and now locks, locks probably give me the most flexibility when it comes to maintaining my hair. Um, now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't always moisturize and take care of it to the best of my ability, but even when I do, it is still far less than anything else. Um, and the great part about it is, is that you kind of have a choice depending on what you want for your locks. If you're somebody who has to have a fresh retwist all the time, you know, then maybe you're gonna have to do something like once or twice a month. However, if you're like me and maybe many others, you can kind of take your time and spread it out so your maintenance is not that much, right? Or for people who are like freeform, you don't really have to do much. Um, there's no, you know, having to detangle, which is another benefit. That's kind of a bonus. You don't have to detangle or comb your hair or anything like that. So it just really minimizes the amount of strain and effort you have to put when it comes to styling. So there's that. Um, now the second one is going to be uh, the textured look that you get on all the styles that you do, right? So even like right now, you know, having my hair just kind of pulled back with this headband, you know, it just creates its own little style more so than having loose natural hair or permed hair did. You know, if you're doing braids or twists or updos, it just creates this really unique look that I feel like only locks can give you. Um, more so than what you could do with twists or braids or anything, you know. So I guess the second thing would definitely be just um, kind of that textured look no matter what you're doing with your locks, okay. So number three is going to be um, that it's still natural hair, right. So you're not really having to use any chemicals or process your hair um, unless you choose to color it like I did. But it's not like with a relaxer how every six weeks, you know, you're having to put chemicals on your hair to force your hair to do something that it's probably not meant to do, right? Uh, versus with locks, you know, like I said, retwisting or interlocking is a choice that you make, but either way, um, our hair naturally, especially Afro texture hair, will naturally lock on its own. So it's not really you forcing your hair with chemicals to do something that it's not meant to do. So that really makes me feel better about uh, what I'm choosing to do for my hair at least, right? Um, so the fourth, um, the fourth benefit to locks is going to be growth slash shrinkage, okay? So let's do the shrinkage part first. It is not that your hair does not shrink, right? Because it's still natural hair, let's be real, but it shrinks a lot less than what it does with loose natural hair. Like, and with that, I feel like you can see your growth a lot more than you can with loose natural hair. Um, especially if you have like kinkier hair like what I had, uh, my hair, even when it was mid back, basically looked like it was like armpit or shoulder length because of the shrinkage. Um, it's not that big a deal, but when it comes to really wanting to rock your hair in certain styles, it just did not work. Versus now, you know, my hair is bra strap, and even with um, the shrinkage, you get to see a lot more of my length than you would if my hair was um, in still in its afro texture. So, just to kind of show you. What I'm talking about, um, you know, you can kind of see that it's a lot longer than what it usually would be, um, you know. So that's really important for a lot of people um, who maybe struggle with that. Um, now, the second part of it, aside from the shrinkage, you've got just the growth itself. For some people, if your hair is really dry, if it's prone to breakage, you may find that locks make it easier for you to retain length on your hair, right? It's not that locks make your hair grow any faster, but you may be able to actually keep that length that you're obtaining, you know, just from taking care of your hair. So that's another thing. Um, and my last benefit that I'm going to talk about today is just the versatility. Uh, a lot of people think just because you have locks all of a sudden that you cannot do different things and style your hair differently and that's just not the case at all. Um, you can do braids and twists and updos and curl curl your locks. You can do so many different things with locks. Um, and I think that as soon as you embrace your styling options, 
you know, you get a freedom with your locks that maybe you would not get with other um, types of hair. Not to mention, it's a lot less work because you're not having to detangle and worry about that with your locks. Um, so for me, those are definitely five huge benefits, right? So versatility, less shrinkage, and you know, you can see your growth more, um, your <laughs> maintenance, being a lot less, right? Having really textured styles and it still being natural hair, okay? So in the comments, please let me know what you think the benefits are, of locks are, at least for you personally, right? Um, I'd love to get some conversation going in the comments. And if you have time, please feel free to like, uh, comment, subscribe, share, you know, do all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for your continued support. And if I can, I'm gonna try to go ahead and do my uh, chunky braid out today, but I will keep you posted, all right? Thanks so much, bye.